Good morning and welcome to OG Foundation, capital of the sovereign state of Elodium. I'm sovereign non of Elodium. It is Wednesday morning, which is a Sunday in Elodium currently. Anyways, here's how this progress is going on the project. So, we just got a bunch of rain after it being really dry for a couple weeks. And so I got a really good look at how poorly I did the drainage up here. So on the whole right side, it's got in many areas, like up to a half an inch, you can see the reflection of water. So I basically need a whole batch of mortar, pretty much all on the right side of this, and which I'm going to do right now while all this water's here, because I'll be able to basically just start from up here and chase the water out. It ended up taking two full batches of mortar, but now the water is mostly all draining to the drain there. You can see the little bit of reflection of it all working its way there. Now the challenge will be to keep the goats off of it. Here's what the back of that bond beam looks like with the form removed. Here's the form. Just gotta get the form away before the rain. Oh, we got a little bit of rain so far. It's supposed to be like rain all day tomorrow. Just another angle of that bond beam. You can kind of see how it's aimed on the far side, right towards the edge of that other structure. One of the worst things about the goats is that they eat this grace, ice, and water tar stuff. So like some areas, like where I'm standing right now, it's just had like insulation panels with this ice and water over it for years and it's nice and waterproof if it degrades so I might put like another layer over it and so they're just like whenever they're up here they're just like ripping the house apart just eating this stuff uh, which is just a nightmare so I don't know it makes me want to rip my hair out kill myself throw them off the roof but also just reconstruct this whole thing and put like a ferro cement like flat floor across this whole thing which I could totally do but I don't think I have time this year to do it uh, but I basically just fill this whole valley and then just put like a flat ferro cement deck and I'd have to move those solar panels but I really have a lot of it around and they keep eating it like they're just ripping it off over here this is like the waterproofing right above where the fireplace is. Luckily, they don't need the EPDM, but super annoying. So after a third batch on Wednesday, I got backing on pretty much all of the bond beam. I got double coverage on that tri triangular transition type thing. And um, yeah, just coverage on the vertical areas. It's supposed to rain a lot in a couple hours, so I didn't want to do any of the flats, too much of the flat surfaces in this last batch. But uh, really good coverage on this, and tomorrow I'll be proceeding. I got just a tiny bit on that feature, but tomorrow I'll be proceeding with the uh, insulation blocks. It's a rainy day on Thursday, and by the morning, 8.30, uh, we've already collected. This was like all the way down... Like there was no water over here, so I've already collected probably uh, almost a thousand gallons of rainwater just from yesterday and today, and then it probably is going to rain for several hours more. So it's uh, cool to just be able to, for weeks of drought, all restored in one day. And then over here, while well, there's a little bit of pooling because, well, it's all coming down right now. Um, but it's not nearly as bad as it was before the two batches yesterday. There's nowhere where it's like a half inch deep really it looks like. So probably with one more one more coat on here I can screed it and do it totally smooth and then after I do that I can come over it with the with the next layer of insulation somewhere along that line or something like that. Thursday evening and the rains have passed. It's been a nice half day of break. And you can see over here the final kind of slope of this. There's still a good bit of standing water, but none of it is deep. So it's all just kind of like because it's uneven from doing it by hand, but otherwise the slope is all good. So when I come through with the 
trowel and make it all flat, it's all ready for it now because uh, the base work has been done. But uh, right now I'm just going to focus on the insulation for the few hours left of today. So because all of the cement was all still wet and everything, I decided to do two more batches of mortar even though I didn't get a start till 4 p.m. I was able to get two more on and then I used the travel on this one to get it pretty darn smooth and hopefully hopefully I did a good job. Friday morning I was able to keep the goats off of the um, screeded mortar. I'll show you that later. But today the focus is entirely on building up these plain tetris with the insulation blocks and then also integrating like the ferro cement feature and those things getting some uh, ferro cement sort of transitions with remesh and stuff like that so just give you a before shot for here getting all the random kind of scraps i can fit in there and we'll see what i can do later today the boys were driving me crazy eating the ice and water up on the roof so they got grounded and as a result i had to put up this fence to keep them from getting up top otherwise i've been doing more foam stuff building that up and then doing stuff with rebar like i got a line of rebar going here and then up the stairs and then it bends and then it goes out that way so i think i need to put a piece of rebar between a layer and layer i'm pretty sure uh, but it's going well got a lot more to do but that piece of that deck right there the horizontal if you can see it right there with the black foam one that one is uh, top deck up there, so it's gonna step up in multiple levels, but I got that one in and so I just got to pack out underneath of it And use a lot of these and I just got a message that I can get more insulation. So I guess I will So Friday afternoon and just got the third load of insulation from Saving it from the dumpster So I got all mostly all the 12 inch stuff this time. So there's a bunch over here and a bunch over there, and a bunch over here, and a bunch over there, and now I gotta figure out what to do with all of it. Saturday morning, I cleaned up this roof insulation area of the, what I call the G-loft, because it was the garage, and then it became a lofted unit, and now it doesn't resemble what it used to look like at all. And then I cleaned up over here, which is now the entry hall, uh, uh, insulating the roof of the entry hall. So I'm happy with how this all ends. And I cleaned all this up, moved that hood thing. And now I'm going to make my line and step pattern in here. I added lath to this little section. So I'll have to add in a drain pipe. And at some point today, do a batch of mortar to anchor that in. I'll get some more on the other areas, probably more over there. And I might get to the sort of remesh transition to the deck over there. And then I've got a couple more lines of rebar. I've got three more pieces to use. Two of them, one of them is going to come into this valley. And then go to like here-ish. And then the second one is going to connect to that one. The third one is going to go over there somewhere, I think. So uh, I think I'm going to start with uh, moving all these insulation panels and making that line. Sunday morning. And yesterday I was able to do one batch of mortar at the end of the day after doing lots of foam and some rebar and so here I almost finished building this wall out over there but I got enough over here to put the sheet of remesh up and then a piece of lath up as well the first sheet of lath and got that anchored in yesterday at the end of the day and then also some rebar work so there's a piece of rebar connecting that one to this one and then coverage to extend this bond beam just the first coat where I'm standing above and using my hands sandwiched um, on either side of the lath um, to be able to get uh, that first coat and then later today I'll be able to get a second coat on either side and then it'll be really strong so you can see how the the deck here is forming I started cutting that foam to that deck so then it's gonna come over one of the trickiest parts is the transition to that roof area. Um, I'm shaping, basically just cutting this foam and kind of like shaping it to figure out this transition as well between the that line basically and then this window and then the ferro cement feature, which I was able to get some more coverage on. 
it was a really wet batch and so I was kind of just like throwing it on as opposed to if it was thicker I could kind of just get better coverage and whatnot but I'll be able to get probably consistent coverage on all of that today. I'll just have to do some more wire ties to tighten the lath up onto the remesh there and also kind of form this that tra there's another transition up at that corner I got to figure out as well as this so I got to pack out here to be able to there's a big hole there fill all that with insulation to be able to extend the deck out to the corner and so the goal for today I suppose is going to be extending that deck out to the corner and then getting the first piece of remesh on up here with some mortar on it and then uh, anchoring into into that so over here I use these pieces these thin pieces of foam in there as forms to be able to get uh, that section basically all the way down to the bottom and that lath that I added yesterday as an extension under there basically extends the bond beam and then gets it on contour with the arch there as far as possible. Um, and then I cut out a little channel in this one to be able to send this full, this full piece of lath right through there. And then the, the wet mortar was really able to get up in there well. And I was kind of wanting the this bond beam to split these two sections of insulation. Um, because I know that this one would be totally encased for like rodents and critters and stuff. Um, because they are already in, or actually I don't, yeah, I think, I don't know if they're in this roof yet. But they get in the roofs of things. And so to have it where it's not, um, not sealed with cement. So, um, the tricky transition here to try to get some sort of mortar so i got this rebar piece here i got a little channel out there but i want to somehow get like a ferro cement wall that divides this insulation section from the roof section which is a little tricky with the roof already there i did cut a piece of the roof back over there but i was trying not to cut this roof back even though this roof extends over the ferro cement feature so i'm trying to build a bond beam to separate these two areas and then still pack out that area with insulation underneath the roof and then like insulate that part of the, the ferro cement bomb beam but it's like that part will be more prone to critters I guess and if I can totally separate this part out then the critters won't be able to get into the insulation of this because with that whole opening if uh, with that opening right there if critters can get in here then they can get all the way around there so then over here I got this extension of this rebar so that that rebar is anchored in to the valley right there really well and um, forms the line for this wall which is as far out as the deck will extend so I've got to pack out that whole area with insulation and then uh, I'm all out of lath I'll have to resupply with lath to do a lot of these walls um, so I suppose if I really packed it out real close I could probably do a wall without lath if I just had remesh there and I had like something to sort of plaster onto but I'll probably just wait for the lath because that would just be half us or something um so i've got a lot of insulation there i've got to unload the car and move it and i'll put all the insulation there and then i'll start packing all this out today oh and i didn't mention this was the first thing i did yesterday was getting a start on this level here so i used a whole bunch of these triangles some of them just perfect like this one came like that and it just uh like the that angle was all just like that how it came and it just ended up like fitting in so just like more more games of Tetris basically, but I got the line for where it will step uh, for the six inch panel, and then right here I got the start of the next step because there will be a second six inch layer on top of this, and you can see how this plane ends going underneath that plane that six inch. So at some point this six inch will be connected to that six inch, but I need to. Uh, design this line in between the two so there's one line here there'll have to be another line there and then I've got to also put in a drain here so that this can drain and then pack out this whole thing with insulation so see how far I get today this is a really long update for the morning but you got a good idea of everything Sunday morning resupplied with a whole bunch of remesh because it's using a lot more than I thought and uh, a lot more lath rebar cement Another case of spray foam. Should be all good to finish now. Hey kids! This is a pile of materials that I have available to pack that out on the other side with.
and the apple season is over. It means all the fruit fruit season in general is over for this uh, for this year. It's been a good one, especially for the plums, but also for the apples and the berries. Oh, I forgot. There's actually one pineapple growing inside, so the season's not over. <laughs> So by the end of the day, Sunday, got two more batches of mortar on. Got another piece of remesh up here going vertically to connect this horizontal one with the one in the ferro cement feature up there. And then got a lot more coverage on the bond beam as well as coverage on this ferro cement feature on the outside. And I got one piece of remesh down and bent and integrated with that ferrous cement feature so they'll be tied in together and extended this deck out to the corner i still have to pack out the insulation underneath and then just do a lot on the bond beam basically got that rebar really well anchored and starting to um anchor in that lath and stuff down there and the rebar across so a number of different fronts but tomorrow i should be able to finish this corner and that arch and carry on that's all for today sorry the camera was so dirty i didn't realize the lens was but here you can get a really good idea of the depth of the insulation because there's like a hole in there and then the deck is all the way up there, six inches of insulation. Then you got another foot, two feet, <laughs> like three feet in some places of insulation. And then so it's just gonna be this fair cement kind of like wall, like vertical, and then around there. And that'll just be a huge volume of insulation in between this very thin deck on top of the, or like, which will come in, be connected with metal into a very thin wall with a very thick insulation. <laughs> Gendo was fighting with Vangari, her brother. She's such a bossy girl, she always bosses him around. But he was standing up for himself and they were fighting and it was very pretty. Just showing this bond beam again because I think the camera was all blurred last time. So just showing how the bond beam extension goes. And then, um, so I got a third coat on that. And then some of this just has its first coat, like right here. Sandwiched on either side and like right over there. Some of it has forms on the back side. But, uh, and then some of it, it's like the first coat. I'm just kind of th throwing it on to get some coverage. And so this, um, the bond beam forms to the, the arc um, up to there. And then it cuts through the insulation there. So it's about two feet thick bond beam all the way to the arch. And then here it gets another almost two feet just to... Uh, it also disperses the weight further down on the arch and helps anchor the arch in place and just stabilizes everything. So right now I'm uh, packing this area out and trying to figure out the the ferro cement wall that'll go underneath that rebar there that'll create a, a solid uh, cement wall so that this whole area will be rodent proof and totally sealed with cement. And I think what I'll end up doing is put a drain in there and I'll end up air creating that and I'll probably end up air creating this um, eventually as well. But the season is also coming to a close, so I gotta like rush and do all this stuff. So I'm under a bit of pressure to pressure to perform. We'll see how I do. Feces are doing good. Storm Ninja and Rocco. I just saw a bald eagle. It circled a couple times. I didn't have my phone. By the time I got my phone, I couldn't see it. But we got a very good look at it. It was definitely a bald eagle. Tuesday morning which is the last day of the week in Elodium. Yesterday I got two batches done. So I got this one well anchored. Or actually those two. I'm actually thinking, I've got, I think I have some more rebar. I'm thinking I might end up making a line of rebar go up and over and tie into there. Uh, seems like a cool idea. And just kind of like put it in place for like next year's project. But to have it anchored in there I think is going to be something I'll do. So this wall is a lot of coverage up onto the second piece of lath. I still have to smooth out that side before I can really get more coverage there. But yesterday I spent most of the time working on this transition between the roof 
and the insulation. Um, and then, so lots of prep and then two batches of mortar at the end of the day, which I was able to get a smooth coat on the inside of about half of that. As well as mortar down on this piece of lath and a second coat and a smooth, smoother coat on all that. So a lot of coverage on there. And then prepped all of these mortar spaces on the bond beam with the final coat so that I can uh, fill, up, fill up these holes, that one there and that one there. And then extend the remesh today, which is the goal to get some more remesh down over here. And then uh, I got the drain in over here and more coverage there, so I'm still working on that. But I got a good bit of progress on packing out that wall yesterday. But again, most of the most of the time really was probably spent on this like corner wall, getting this lath wall up here, which will separate the areas and getting that down there so I can lift it up. I'm actually considering lifting the whole level so instead of making that the deck and then it step up I'm thinking of actually just lifting the whole thing up because I have a bunch of those 10 inch panels so I'm actually thinking I'm probably going to do that and um, it might be a little bit tricky around the corner of that roof but um, chicken drama going on uh, but then over here I also got some good coverage got some lath on on that wall see all those things pushing against it I just try to like push the the metal wall up against the foam wall to limit the amount of mortar I need to add in order to sort of get it in place. So I should be able to get a good bit more coverage and I basically start the days packing out the insulation with foam and then later on in the day um, get to the mortar and stuff. So I didn't get any more progress over here really on that whole deck but I'm hoping in the next week basically that I'm gonna finish this whole finish this whole project that deck and then this deck and so we'll see how it goes today look what these goats partially the chickens but mostly the goats are doing to the insulation on my roof they're just savaging it they just eat all this tar like I don't understand why it seems like it's got to be toxic but they just keep eating it. They've got four stomachs, so I guess they can handle it, but the roof cannot handle it. But I don't have lots of good ideas on how to solve it other than doing ferro cement stuff, and I'm too busy on other things to do that, so I suppose I could cover it in metal. If I covered it in metal and did ferro cement later, that would actually protect it. Oh boy, it's a whole bunch. I can't focus on that now, it's just annoying. <laughs> Oh, also, I forgot about the pears. There's a few pears left. So the fruit season is not over either. I mean, outside either. <laughs> Most of them are a little bit smaller than you'd see in the grocery store. But I found one, nice big ripe one. Tastes really good. Boy's gonna try maybe the willow tree and the, the viney bushes. Careful there, Benny. Yeah, I couldn't actually get a good shot of all the, the long pieces of insulation, but all those long, uh, thick pieces. So I'm going to put some of these up there to make that lower deck taller. So the weakest link in this chain of operations, or the log jam, so to speak, is down here. This lath, whatever it's called, the bond beam, end wall, whatever, rodent blocker. So I cannot proceed with the top deck until I get the sidewall on, and due to the nature of it, without having a form, being vertical, I'm going to have difficulty just getting coverage with a single batch. It'll ha I'll have to make it nice and sticky and thick, and then I'll have to get a second batch later on, so, best case scenario, if I do a batch of mortar real quick, or real soon, early in the day, I might be able to get a second batch on later today and get like two more pieces, or two pieces of this top, or this addition to this deck here. So I'm putting the thick insulation on top of the six inch. Um, 
So because I need to make a batch of mortar to do that, I need to have enough spaces to do mortar. So I'm also prepping this corner. I'm going to put a get a piece of remesh down, and then I'll make the batch of mortar, and I can get mortar on this section here, as well as that corner there. I'll just have to wait on the foam that I put in here to cure a bit, and that's when I'll eat. The boys are taking advantage of the various temporary things to eat more leaves of the boxwood elder. Han standing up on the back of a chair on an incline against his favor. He's a risk is as dangerous as his middle name. Benny much more wise and cautious. So after the first batch, I was able to get coverage on pretty much all of that. And then two buckets over here to get this. Remesh in and getting some good use out of those clamps so that there's six inches of bonding with the bond beam for the remesh on the side so that they're structurally integrated. And then over here, gotten some pretty good progress on this wall over here, building this up. And I think now I'll be able to place those next two panels. And I'll just like have to crawl up under there to do the second and final coat on the inside of that. So by the end of the day, Tuesday, I got those first two pieces, those first two panels up for the deck on this section. And then extended um, where that rebar piece was. And there's a rebar piece on top, so that, that becomes a bond beam that goes over that arch and then separates the areas. I was able to get another coat on part of the back side, pretty good coverage on this side, and then another piece of lath on over here and more coverage over here. So I'm hoping to be able to close all this up and that section up there by next week. So right now, this section is just So I still have to pack out all this. Got to go in there, pack out both these sides. Probably do some air crate if I can on either side. But first I have to finish these walls basically. But there's the second piece of remesh on and I got the, the hardest parts, the most complicated parts done this week. So I think I, and all the shape is there basically. There's just one more thing I'm kind of uh, gonna send a piece of rebar that way and down that way. I think I've got three more pieces, or maybe over there, I don't know, I'll put them somewhere. But that's as far as it'll go this week, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. That's all for this week. Man, he was thirsty. He drank this whole cup of water. He's got other water, but he likes my water better. Look how much he drank. He drank all that. You want any more? How's you, hon? Live behind. You boy Benny. Benny likes me pet him and Han will let me scratch his head, but he doesn't like to be petted in other places, but Ben I will let me pet him all over the place. One more week in the season. See you next week.